Danger! Danger! I'm spoiling a movie! You can't- if you don't want to watch this review, then go! Go watch Bill and Ted Face Music! Danger! Danger! I'm gonna spoil the whole movie in this review because I'm gonna express my opinion because back then, I couldn't because it just came out! Danger! Danger! Hey, feeling good, like I should When in Durku, walk around the neighborhood Feeling blessed, never stressed Got that sunshine on my Sunday This may be the longest review I've ever made ever, so buckle up, cause here we go. Bill and Ted, best franchise ever. Sorry Back to the Future fans, but Bill and Ted came out like after Back to the Future, and I can literally prove that. It's like, it's like there, like, just Google it and you'll see, just Google Back to the Future and then Google Bill and Ted and you'll see that it's completely different. Yeah. Anyways, it's the best franchise ever, with an underrated sequel, a good first season of a cartoon, and then a shitty second season, and then a shitty live action series, and then pretty good comic books and video games and toys. You think it would end there, but no, it does not, because we have Face the Music, the third Bill and Ted movie. Now, there have been speculations about this movie for years in interviews with Alex and Keanu and Alex and Keanu and Chris Matheson and Ed Solomon, and then finally it came out this year in August, and I gotta say, I did like it. I enjoyed it quite much. But unfortunately, as a reviewer of movies, it is my duty to review the pros and cons. And while there are a lot of pros, I'm gonna have to finally express the cons I had with the movie, which is a lot, by the way. There are a lot of Bill and Ted shivers out there. I know what you're gonna think. Bill and Ted, what? But if you look at the facts, you could see what people ship them. There's like a lot of fan art for it, and there's a lot of other stuff for it, fanfics, and all that stuff. And people were thinking that Bill and Ted were finally gonna be gay in this in this movie and that they were going to couple therapy for a reason that I didn't know of, but instead we got Missy marrying Deacon. Now if you remember, Missy married Namalos, and it's even in the comics too, at the end of Bogus Journey. And now she's marrying Deacon? Deacon, why do you want that? In the comics you were getting some alien booty, not you wanna have that MILF? Regardless, Bill and Ted played at their wedding, and they played a pretty good song. Until it was caught off by Captain Logan. Oh my god. He did not deserve to be redeemed in this movie. That's what I didn't like the most. The fact that the middle end of the movie was rushed, and the fact that they redeemed Captain Logan way too early. How can you not believe this stuff? Your son and his best friend time-traveled, brought back historical figures for the report, died, came back to life with a Grim Reaper and two aliens, and then went to time travel again with their girlfriends and soon be wives, and then came back with babies on their back and two robots, and now they live in a house, well in the comics, they live in a house with the Grim Reaper and two aliens and two robot versions of them, and your ex-wife Missy is married to a dude from the future. How can you not believe this stuff? Your wife in the comics is literally in space with Bill's mom. Anyway, is it me or was the journey to hell a bit short? Because I remember in Excellent Adventure it was like very long and them screaming, ah, and then that was like, ah, we're here. I mean, I guess hell must have improved. I don't know, you guys, we didn't really see the devil, we did see death though, we didn't see any personal hell stuff. It was a very quick way to hell. I guess I just wanted to really back, bring back William Sadler somehow, and they were like, oh, well, if we just send a robot to kill Bill and Ted, uh, yeah, that's another thing. Why did the people from the future want Bill and Ted to die in order to save the universe? Because when they did eventually die in the movie, it didn't do anything, like... What? Also, when did, Ruf when did Rufus's wife become one of the counselors? Like, look, I knew that Rufus had kids and a wife because Rufus did mention in the movie that his kids love their Will and Ted's music, but like, I don't know.
I wanted this review to be longer, but my phone is freaking out with all this storage I'm using, so I'm going to have to unfortunately end the review here. But thank you all so much for watching my review of Bill and Ted Face Music, even though it didn't really feel like a review. I did try managing to, like, cram all the information in as much as I could. But, um, yeah, join me for when I re-review The Lost Boys, because that's going to be very much fun. Bye!